What up, y'all? Welcome back. <clears throat> we're doing a little uh, vintage cube draft here. Not sure if we're going to do a stipulation yet. We'll see. We'll see. Channel? I want this out of the way, but I don't want to leave. Well, we're leaving. All right. I think we're just taking channel. No chatting about sandwiches and nonsense. Super Fritz, you're off today, aren't you? Is it Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday? I thought it was Thursday and Friday. Yeah, that's what took me so long. I had to tuck Moochel, M-O-C-H-L. I had to tuck him in. <clears throat> because it's channel, I don't think we're going to do one because I don't think any of them fit. Actually, uh, Cabalans doesn't really count. <clears throat> Cabalans is, since there's no guarantees, you about draft the cards that deal damage to you or require you to pay life. So channel is great, but it's like probably the only card in that archetype that's going to actually do that. But nothing else in this pack is that good. So I'm going to take Channel. Because I think it's just that good. And now you get Dryad or Questing Beast if you want to stay green. Zealous Conscripts is a nice... <clears throat> a nice one. A nice boy. We could have taken Leovold into Wheel of Fortune. That's a nice four-color deck. How did you and Moochel meet? Oh, just playing Magic. Literally just met at a Magic store like... 50 years ago. <laughs> I picked it up at the pet store. Wow. Uh, I think it's actually Questing Beast, to be honest. Sundering Titan is interesting with channel. Lands cause damage to you or loss of life when you draw none or all of them. I think that's true. I'm going to take Sundering Titan. I think Sundering Titan's great with channel. And Woodfall Primus is just great in this green deck that we're building. So, okay. Nothing else in this pack like I'm really missing either. So... Bayou and Breeding Pool. <clears throat> I almost think Survival is pretty decent here. Like, being able to discall, like, Dark, like Woodfall or Sundering Titan is pretty good. What is Baby Mikey? Should watch that Hamel Burrow special. I mean, I want to, but I also got to go to bed. Mikey's gotta go to bed. If I go to bed, I mean, I'm gonna be laying in bed for four hours watching YouTube videos. <laughs> wow. It's true. That's what I mean when I say I gotta go to bed. I mean, I gotta go lay in bed and watch YouTube. <laughs> Why is it your voice? That's how you sound. Wow. Because that's know. baby Mikey. Baby Mikey gotta go to bed. <laughs> YouTube video, bed time. I don't watch. I actually rarely do that anymore because I am usually too tired now. He literally said he did it last night. He said he did it last night. I wanna take this guy for obvious reasons. <clears throat> All right, this is not feeling like my body wants a hamburger for lunch. I mean, hey, you get that hamburger, buddy. Finale Devastation late game is not bad with channel. All right, we're just going to go full on channel. Channel Stone Con I mean, like, I would rather channel Karn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can always go. Channel Karn. So Tooth and nail. <clears throat> Alright, that's another good green payoff card. Yep, take a gruel signet. We are low on the fixing lands of the, the mana ramp. <coughs> Downtown. The lights are much brighter there. 
You can take Iona and put her in the sideboard there. And go down, down. Everyone's waiting for you. Downtown. <clears throat> <coughs> Wangle tire. Guys, you really can't be talking about other people's wangle tires. Mm, Tristani. Necromancer. You know what? If you're just going to keep giving me these reanimate pieces, I'll take them. We are on huge green. God, Cuba can be frustrating. You're on huge green. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I don't understand. Take a Liliana. If we end up green black, like we can just discard some of these fatty boom booms and then reanimate them with necromancy. Or corpse dance, per se. <clears throat> and that's also good for our, our Bayou based deck. What are we looking open pack to? Nothing in this pack, that's for sure. And we passed a Bayou in pack one, so we're not going to see that ever. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mox Diamond is fine. I mean, I wanted Arbor Elf, but I think Mox Diamond's probably okay. Uh, with no ramp whatsoever just yet. I don't think we're an upheaval deck. I think we'd rather have Mox Diamond than Arbor Elf. Actually, Mox Diamond does let us turn one channel, which is pretty much all I need to know. And you actually go in the main deck. Oh, Lana Elf. Badger, look, it's a Lana Elf. A badger, look, it's a land of war elf. We're going to take that guy for sure. Oracle of Moldiah. Also, Kozilek is another target that I want to hit with uh, with Channel or Tooth and Nail. So, that's pretty good. But I think we're just taking Oracle here. <clears throat> Oracle as a card is just really, really good. Whereas, Kozilek is a little repeatable. Thank you. Jimmy the Mole with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Thank you. <clears throat> if he drops Kozilek, you'll inevitably face three Barbary decks. Or if we draft Emrakul. Yeah. Well, that's not the Emrakul we're looking for, but Natural Order is pretty decent here. Yeah, like, this is again what happens. We get, like, Natural or Tooth and Nail and Channel. And we just kind of hope that we get the, the pieces. Because, like, right now we actually have only one creature that comes down before turn four. Oh, well, that's a good one. Let's take that one. Where you draft a spicy off-the-wall deck while also consuming increasingly hot salt. Uh, that doesn't sound enjoyable for the remainder of the draft. I mean, I'd probably have to... I'd probably... You'd probably have to, like, donate a bunch for that, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean, yes, I did know you can't channel for more mana than you have life. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take Sylvan Carry added rather than Plow Under. I love Plow Under, but I think having creatures uh, for things like Survival of Fittest, Natural Order, and Ramping Us is more important. So, a whole bunch can do. <sighs> Badger, I have to assume you get a ridiculous amount of, like... <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like military money? Like, from being retired? Are you retired from the military? Is that how that works? I don't know how military things work. Uh, Lotus Cobra, Rexit, Discharged. But they still, like... I'm sure they still... What's what I'm looking for? Um, pension? Is that the word I'm looking for? Rex Sage is probably great here. It's also just an effect you want. <clears throat> I think Tracker is great. But. It ain't no Rex Sage. 16 years. That's actually, that's actually not bad. I just take Yavimai Elder. I don't know these cards are impressive. 
Smuggler's Copter's not terrible, I guess. I'll take Smuggler's Copter. I mean, it's just got to be better than the other dude. Beast Within seems fine. I'll take a Vraska in case we do end up... The Kozilek came back. Sometimes you just have it all. I mean, we didn't take Progenitus just because it's only good <clears throat> with Natural Order. It's not good with Channel. I mean, we could Tooth and Nail it too, but I'd rather just have the Kozilek, which is good with Tooth and Nail and uh, Channel. I'd rather have the payoff card that works on, like, turn t turn one or two versus the card that works on turn, like, four. Plus, we want the we want multiple of these because they have to be in our hand. Whereas, what, whatever you get with Natural Order and Tooth or Nail can be in the deck. So, like, even if we just have one target, it's still pretty good. Uh, it's got to be Corsair of Crew Fix here, right? Yeah, Mox Emerald would have been great here, but... <clears throat> oh, Finhorn Elves is beautiful. Beautiful. We were worried about the uh, the the ramp quantity here. I can retire 57 with a crazy federal pension if I make it that long in the land of snow and ice. Do you have to be there until you're 57? That's wild. I'm going to take Ugin, I think. I just want to maximize the number of cards we have for for channel. This actually seems like a, a Eureka deck, I want to be honest with you guys. <clears throat> like our top end is top end is bonkers right now. One, two, three, four, five, five, five bonkers cards, plus like questing bees, Pelucranos. take master it's the only card i can see playing here elder gargaroth and carnage tyrant i actually kind of like gargaroth here it's just a five drop that we don't have access to <clears throat> i can quit today and they'll hold my pension level 16 give it to me the crazy thing is my pension is indexed this means it matched inflation every year. That's insane. Oh, wow. Yeah, Actually, I said that's insane before hitting you saying that's insane. Plus in salary in the RT is two times making. That's crazy, dude. Crazy good. <laughs> Could just be worn Power Stone here. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it's any of these other cards. So we'll just take the worn Power Stone. I'm going to put Pelucranos over here for now. I think 24 is actually okay. I don't even love Smuggler's Copter. I don't even love Survival, really. Eh. I think Ooze is probably better than Fiend Arzen. This might be better than Survival, actually, right? No, it's gotta be. I mean, because it's... Uh, 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 I don't know. Let's take Blooming Marsh, just in case we want to splash any of these black cards. Euro's pretty good. And we're not blue by any means. I think this is the deck, though. Golgari Signet is just better than Gruul Signet. 
We could play both, I guess. Might be better than Copter here. <coughs> thank you. Ow, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Is it Alb or Albi? That's the question. A mind slaver, I guess. All right, let's act sure. Go with them black cards. Go with the black cards. Wow, there's a lot of things toward the end there. Jeez. I mean, our deck looks fine. I still don't know. That's you're just you just spelled the name I couldn't I couldn't pronounce. <clears throat> Alb Albi A L B E. Oh my god, I'm so confused. I think I'm gonna take Copter out. I just don't like Copter. I'll take Girl Signet out instead. Albi. Did we do it? I nailed it. I totally nailed it. Albie, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. That is awesome. <clears throat> um, I think this is fine. Three one drops. A Mox Diamond. So if we hit two lands, we can channel on turn one. Let's do it. Let's get in there. This is a Eureka deck through and through for sure. Someone else said Eureka's a trap and I'm like, no, no, you guys are confusing a show and tell. I think Eureka can be built around pretty successfully. Like, if you're able to put Ugin, Karn, and, like, Woodfall Primus into play, like, there's not much they can do. I mean, this is fine. Turn three Gargaroth. No channel rip. God, go through. There's so many rips, man. <clears throat> I think Beast is fine. <clears throat> it gets rid of everything. Like, if they have treachery, if they have bribery, like... I mean, it's a good catch-all card. Feel like drafting green. Oh, she did. Oh, we did. Oh God, what's happening? <laughs> Come on. Sure. Well. Oh, killing it just Bonzo. Oh, wow. Weird. Strange. Weird. Weird. Wow. Oh, boy. Well, that's a thing, all right. <clears throat> the problem is they're just going to pump this guy, shoot the land of off, and attack for three, four, five, six next turn. I only have two cards. I'm gonna trade this Hell Rider. Prevent six damage here. <clears throat> what? Oh, sure. Okay. Whatever that does. Alright, questing beast. Mox Diamond. Yeah, gets you every time. But to be fair, if Mox Diamond was a land, it's actually not much better there. Channel is not that good here. 
channel on turn one or two. Not bad. Yep. Okay. Don't know why you do that at the end of the turn. Because if you draw like a removal spell, then you can just, like in a braid, you can attack for more. But. I think people are so con con like conditioned to do things at the end of the turn because that's like the strategically sound option for a lot of times that like sometimes they don't even think that like there's no incentive to do it at the end of the turn. Does anyone here do the rent program? Are you talking about <clears throat> are you talking about manatraders? Dot com. Yep, that's gonna be the end. I mean, we get to gain three and go to six. But we also take like one, if they pump this guy, we take one, two, three, four, five, and then shoot us for whatever. So now we're just going to bring in all the life gain things. Um, let's take out Finale, take out Woodfall Primus, bring in Thrag Tusk, Master of the Wild Hunt. We'd love to bring in this Euro, <clears throat> but alas, no. Keep them all, guys. Keep them all. <laughs> eh, it's better. <clears throat> if we had a channel, it could be good. Let's keep this. Ship one land. Let's see if they got lightning bolt. This is this is not this is not great, but I think this hand is fine. Bowmaker, grim lava mancer, sure. Chrome Mox. <clears throat> Imprinting Thundermaw Hellkite. Well, that's fascinating. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, in a world where they don't kill this, it's pretty nice. This is that world. Well, that is a 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> I want to see Frank Shinobi as Shinobi. Dude, it's... I'm game to do it. But I think... Uh, it's definitely that white whale, you know? Well, Elder Gargaroth wins this one. <clears throat> I'm beginning to see the light. I never cared much for moonlit skies. I never winked back at my cool bees. Uh, the 6-6 six, six actually potentially gains you 6 life a turn because 3 on blocks and 3 on attacks. So, you know. You've seen that Marcus Brownlee, Marcus Brownlee, Mark, Marcus, uh, where he gets to interview Bill Gates and brings him a bag of hamburgers and Bill starts eating them and Marcus is like, wow, I didn't think you would actually eat them. That's hilarious. No, that's amazing. I love Marcus Brownlee. <clears throat> sure. Ooh, they gave me that free land? Don't even waste any time. I mean, I guess they can't because they have a... Uh... Wow, they just keep giving me lands. Yeah, this seems good. Actually, Smuggler's Cover might be better than the second segment. That's a good point. I mean... <clears throat> okay, they have one land. Where's our chat? Share the chat and share the game log. Um, well, we're going to be able to slam Thrag Tusk next turn anyway, so I might as well get the guy that 
does a bunch of stuff. Wow, they've given me a million lands here. That's wild. I'm just going to block. If they want a two-for-one here, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're just playing that and going to get, going around two. This is better than Thragtusk by a thousand percent right now. All right, round two. <laughs> Take your red cards and go home. <clears throat> I think in most other situations, the Smuggler's Copter is better because it's like evasion. Uh, it's a way for the green deck to filter cards that they ordinarily would not be able to. <clears throat> yep. Shut up and take my money. Snap keeping that. Oh my god, something's happening right now. Guys, something's happening. What? Alby! Been watching on the YouTube for a long time. Figured it was time to stop in and say hi. You're one of the most genuine people on Twitch and have provided me with countless hours of entertainment. Appreciate it. Dude, Alby, thank you so much, man. That's insane, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. You are a saint. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Oh my god. Wow. Alby, dude. Alby. That's... How you gonna act, dude? How you gonna act? Oh, it's just it's just green v green? Oh, we get to just play this first and then channel into that? Alby, thank you, man. That's wild, dude. Oh, man. Thank you. You people. Dylan Mesa, the gifted sub, man. I was here, YouTube. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, I was there. When sometimes... <laughs> Solid plays all. Come on, Carnugan. Fintorn Elves, huh? Okay. Let's do one of these jobbies. Let's, uh... Yeah, we're going to kill both of these lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Sundering Titan. Done. Oh, boy. And next turn, we also get, uh, we get to natural order. Ooh. Yep, I mean, that's all. I'll just take eight for that. That seems good. Albie, thank you so much, dude. I, oh my god, I'm so appreciative right now. Whew. Whew. Rex, Rex Sage. Oko! That's fine. The damage is done. So you get to go Finhorn Elves natural order. Get, like, Woodfall Primus, kill the Oko. Oh, wow. This is when you're going to show up, Ugin? Come on, Eugene. Dylan Mace with another gifted sub. I appreciate all of you. Findhorn elves. Findhorn elves. Doot, 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 doot. What do we got? One, two, three, five, six. No, we're not there yet. So we're going to get rid of this guy. <clears throat> Let's get Woody Fall Primusman. Kill this idiot. And bonk him for three. Still probably paying under a dollar. <laughs> that's actually, that's a good way to look at it. I appreciate that. Man, when, when people come from YouTube and they're like, hey, I've been watching your YouTube or watching your content for years. And then they actually like, you know, donate or subscribe or what have you based on that, you know? Like, it's such a like rewarding feeling. Because <sighs> it's kind of like, you know, I remembered. And it meant enough that like, this is stuff I want to support, you know? And that's super cool. I mean, even if they blow this though, we get to still have Woodfall Primus out? That's pretty good. Oka was definitely a decent response, that's for sure. If this was a box match, the ref would have stopped the fight already. <laughs> oh, man. Stop! He's already dead! Alright. <clears throat> well, we're gonna save that guy. Let's get in there. All these creatures have families. Yeah, this is 
the assumed play. Persist. Kill this thing. Alright, so we, we only have six on board and they're at seven, so unfortunate. I've been a tuber for years getting friends. Dylan Ace, I appreciate all the gifted subs, buddy. Thank you, my dude. Four, five, six. We're getting close. We're just gonna put them to one here, so they gotta deal with both these guys. Thank you. Oh, Dylan Mace is just going crazy tonight. He's just having He's just having a, a party. And he's inviting all his friends. And he's giving them subs. Submarine sandwiches. Oh no, we just win. They're like, I'm gonna take a gander at these top cards. Okay, they're not there's nothing there. Oko's definitely a good splash for sure. <sighs> I think we're just submitting like this. Like I think our deck's good. <sighs> I mean if I was playing mono green, I would hundred percent uh splash for Oko. Channel, 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 I made you out of clay. When I have two mana, channel, I will play. Any four drop, which we have a bunch of, is really good here. Channel would be insane here. I want Daddy Kozilek on turn one. It was not meant to be, though. Don't feel like it's a splash. They only played Islands. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, also Ancestral is a good splash, too. Because they're clearly splashing in blue. Ain't nobody whipping this chat without a big face. <laughs> oh, Guys, I've been actually thinking of changing my subscriber badge for a while. I don't know what to make it, though. Give me some suggestions. I was thinking of, like, a rat train. It's so hard because you have such a small area. It's, like, 28 pixels by 28 pixels. And you have to have a bunch of distinct things. You know what I mean? Like... in there like I'd like to have like a rat and then a rat with a conductor hat and then a rat on a train but it's just like very hard to like illustrate in such a small area you know oh wow okay maybe the green is the splash this deck is much different than I expected three four five six. Oh boy are we dead Not a competition, I'm just making up for the lost time. Been following Frank since Magic TV. They should have subbed you. Yeah, Magic TV is great. And then, like, we couldn't find guests anymore. I see. I see. You revealed a lot of artifacts. Yes. And then you get to... I guess that doesn't do anything. I see. I understand now. I see what's happening now. Michael, then me, then Katie. <laughs> That's... Wow, Katie's like the gold sub badge. One, two, three. Oh yeah, we they took a bunch of our mana away, so I'm gonna go to the next game now. This is just a this is just a match for who play. They, they, it's not like a splash though, because they have Draga Tree Speaker. Like, I kind of just want to put the black in there because Heartless Act, Assassin's Trophy, and Vraska. Is that weird? <clears throat> that other black I got like three black sources plus mox plus sylvan carry out plus golgari signet wreck sage is good uh this seems like a bad eureka deck they have a bunch of nonsense <sighs> destroy any creature and vraska would be decent take out copter i don't care about a copter at all Unforgiven, what up? Days been pretty good. Had a bunch of supportive people from uh Fragged Camper to Badger as usual to Albi. This is a rough hand. I want to mulligan this hand. I think we can do better. That's that's worse. <laughs> I still think we can do better. 
I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Let's get rid of Beast. And probably, probably Rex. It's probably Rex Age because Veraska does a lot of the same thing Rex Age does here. And this is also turn three Courser with a land on top, so. So we do have four lands, one way or the other. And if they if they actually activate Tree Speaker, we might actually just play Vraska and kill it. But the problem is, like, yeah, Vra 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 Rex Age kills Metal Worker, but so does Vraska, which is why I kept Vraska instead. Their deck doesn't seem like a deck that has things to do with this. And it did not. Um, Yeah, I kind of just want to get rid of this. Plus, we get to keep Vraska on board, so... Like, there's no real reason I should give you two extra mana next turn. So doubly unforgiven. Whoa, whoa. Yep, that was the other dude I was afraid of. Rex Age, Rex Age, where are you? Well, we at least have a green, so let's do it like this. Tooth and nail, huh? Oh boy. No incentive not to play this. Yeah. I mean, we're only getting to five this game. Last turn they had like turn th four Ulamog or some bullshit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So they're just going to Sundering Titan. That sucks. Well, no, they would have revealed Sundering Titan here, right? Just what? Why wouldn't... What? Tooth and Nail. Are your other two cards that didn't help you cast this? One of them is an Emrakul. Just casual Emrakul in your hand. That's... Pretty decent. Four, five, six, seven. We are one man away from casting this Ugin. I don't think it does anything. <sighs> Four, five, six, seven. We can cast Tooth and Nail. Uh, we're not sacking things at all. That's why we didn't do that. Um, like, I'm not going to sack a land and hope to hit another land. Especially... Can't you kill Emrakul with how? Vraska cannot kill Emrakul. Destroy a non land permanent with man cost three or less. That is not a thing. Yep. All right. Dylan Mace, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the subs. Really appreciate your support, my dude. Well, these games have been quick, at least. You know what? What was underneath Ugin? I don't know. I forgot. D 
Do 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 do. All right, they went to six. Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> oh man. What was under there? I don't know. I forgot. Buddy, I don't know I know channel. You got me. You gonna kill this? Where's your soul, dude? Probably in the garbage can with your dick. Trash man. Yep, now we just have a handful of eight drop, four drop, five five forests in the Vintage Cube, it's actually four forests, Franklin. Oh, you don't know how the forests work. <sighs> oh, so just to be clear, Kerwitz sent me the video of the, the, the Marquez Brownlee feeding uh, Bill Gates, and he's like, oh, by the way, it was not Marquez Brownlee. It was Rob Mark Rober, and it wasn't burgers. It was pizza rolls. So... Basically, Kerwit fudged the entire story. Scooby doo 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 doo. Two, three, four. Okay, this is actually fine. We get to hit their face. And kill their Ren in six. I mean, I wish I had an answer for course of portal here, but you know what? You gotta take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you've had the facts of life. Attack your face and kill your thing. Okay, most. Pizza rolls are gross if you're younger than 20. I was like, wow, that's a weird take. You need a sophisticated palate to appreciate a pizza roll. These kids just don't understand the delicious sophistication of a pizza roll. I also agree. I've had I've tried to have Totino's pizza rolls in like my in my in my recent days, and I'm just like the fla like the the pastry that they use is just so weird and soft. Like it's just so weird. Pizza rolls and Frank hot sauce is my favorite drink snack. I don't know what I don't know what my hot sauce is, buddy. Just kidding, I do know. Well, they have Ren and Six and Ramy of Excavator, but they have no fetch lands in the yard. I imagine a uh, a Crucible of Worlds in our future. They also tapped this, so now they're going to play one, two, three, four. They have five mana right now accessed. Oh wow! Oh, things are happening. Big oh wow. You just flame slash that guy? It's the rudest thing you could possibly do. Eureka's Castle. I feel like that's the correct thing to do, right? We got Kozilek, Rex Sage for this. And then we still get to keep natural order in tooth and nail. Fuck it, roll them dice, boy. I ain't scared. Oracle of Moldaya. Flood Strand, okay. Rex Sage. What you got now? Kozilek. Land. land okay I'll pass to you your move I have one card left a Johnny sure Eureka's castle man their wasteland's looking pretty bad when we got they have no cards in hand, so like basically we just have to deal with the Johnny here. And if they're able to bring back a Euro, that seems fine. 
I would crack both of these as well, just to make sure we minimize our hits. But we have, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. If we hit a second land on top, we can also natural order for something. I don't know what. Yep. Sundering Titan, I guess. So they're probably going to kill Oracle. We're going to be able to natural order. Wreck Sage, attack with Kozilek, of all things. They have no cards in hand, so they literally have two cards. They can they can get back Euro and whatever they draw. So. Oh my god, also Titan is insane. Holy crap. Suttering Titan seems like my deck's actual nemesis. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. Eureka's Castle. Yeah. You got it. This guy costs eight. We have four, five, six, seven. We're just hoping there's a land on top. Oh, actually, they're going to probably kill Oracle. That makes sense. We can still tooth and nail him to play, actually. That's pretty nuts. I mean, they got Ramunat, but, like, that's one land a turn, and we get a Sundering Titan on board, so... Can you clarify for us exactly whose castle is it? Eureka's Castle! Oh, Windswept Teeth? Oh, well. This is brutal. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, put up to two creature cards from your own hand. <sighs> Only have one though, my dude. You know him. And so do I. Okay, it's gonna be my white source. What are they doing right now? They don't have any cards in hand. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna untap their basalt. Oh, they're gonna activate needle spires. Untap that. Okay. Why do they have all this mana? One, two, three, four, five. Done. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> boy um target permanent we have to attack it means they're going to sacrifice a johnny as one of the permanents but it's better than them keeping a johnny and then just tapping down Kozilek for the rest of our games well seems fine so they're going to get rid of this guy I can't even imagine what else I personally don't care about Euro right now. We have a Sundering Titan to block. Oh, they didn't actually... Oh, okay. So they're going to they're, they're gonna block. We still have Sundering Titan. And we still have Natural Order next turn, which gets like, not Woodfall Primus, but like Elder Gargaroth. This guy's never coming back. Look at their board. What happened to their board? We just got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands and a six, six. Oh boy. Yeah, I always just assume like if I'm attacking your planeswalker with annihilator, then if I'm attacking with a creature with annihilator and I'm attacking your planeswalker, the planeswalker is just going to die, obviously, because this is a big ass creature with annihilator, so. Okay, but all of this does nothing. You have a second white for this, so. Um, one, two, three. Let's see what we hit here. You, Eugene. We can actually just kill the Ajani here with Questing Beast. That seems really good. Wait, where's Questing Beast? He's in the graveyard! No! Questing Beast! I'm just going to get our card off. Uh, let's attack a Johnny. 
I mean, now they have to block with Devoted Druid, I guess. So we're still kind of eating lands here. Mega Beast, gain a life, draw the three. I mean, the only thing I can imagine is like Wrath of God would be good. But they don't have double white. And they lose the Ramunap Excavator, and we would kill two of their lands. One of their lands, maybe two. I mean, keeping Kozluk tapped down seems like the uh, the only... Oh, God, they're just killing me with these draws, dude. I think we're just going to draw a card. Trample and Reach. That guy's going for a Johnny. That, these two are going at your face. Um, Let's draw a card. We don't want to, like, keep Mox Diamond. We, I mean, it could be a land underneath to play. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, they do have double white whenever they want it because of the graveyard. Smuggler's Chopper. Let's just play Signet here. Alright. Well, cause like untaps now. So let's see if you're going to get Savannah and Wrath of Goddess. I mean, they've held on for a while, despite us having Kozilek and Sundering Titan. Also, keep in mind, Eureka was fantastic for us, and they hit, like, three lands and a Johnny, so. <clears throat> yeah. That was pretty good. Alright, so they have that stupid creature. They probably have Crucible, too. So I think we do want Veraska to come in. Take out Copter again. Bring in Heartless Act. Do we have any better answers for Planeswalkers? I don't think so. We do have Beast with it, though, so that's pretty good. Bring in a Marsh and two Swamps. And we'll probably take out Finale again. Because we already have Tooth and Nail and Natural Order, so... Oh, dang. I'm going to just ho keep this Hope for Turn 2 channel. Their deck doesn't seem terribly fast, so I think this is actually okay. And I think Questing Beast is actually pretty decent against them, so. Thank you! Walladil, what up, my dude? Thank Demented you. Wombat, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, guys. I appreciate both of you. Okay, so if we do draw a channel off the top here, um, I don't know how to express, express to you how good it is because we have these two guys. I mean, we take 15. Oh, and we hit no lands except for our own here. But, wow, they literally have three mana sources, none of which are basics. <laughs> That's kind of comical, and you're also fashionably late to the party here. So, Are we trading a land for a, for a tree speaker? No, we are not. Wow, every game with this guy, huh? Okay. Okay. I got a questing beast for you. I got a questing beast for you. Don't be a land on top now, beep. You never listen. You only listen when I'm predicting bad things, not when I'm predicting good things. very good these plays have all been very good ren and six to kill Gerard tree speaker is super value knight of autumn to kill a courser is super value wasteland against us is super poop i like that it's not even a may ability like if they have a planeswalker and you're attacking their face their planeswalker is taking four Q 
QB is a beast at least. What does that mean? Um, that's pretty good. Any any hand with Eternal Witness is really juicy. Huh. I mean, I would definitely take this pile, right? Sure. I'll give it like this. Like, I think Eternal Witness is the best card, but they can't play it this turn. So they took Eternal Witness in the two lands. Interesting. Four, five. So now we, these are the three of the cards in your hand. You don't have a second blue or enough mana to really... Okay, well. Big M has gone to bed. He couldn't, he couldn't handle staying up past 10. Eternal Witness, get back Renin 6? Cars of Portal? Euro? I don't understand what's happening. Factor Fiction. Um, sure. Okay, so you played the Island and the Eternal Witness. We need Needle Spiders, Factor Fiction, and two other cards. Channel. Kozilek. Oh, you're just gonna... What? Sure. I hope they, I hope they take Beast Within and give me, like... I hope a channel just pops up. Or they just let me keep this whole hand because it doesn't really do much without another piece. So. <laughs> Alright. Just let me keep this whole thing. We're one land away from Karn, so that's pretty cool. Chris, we went 2 1 in our previous draft, and now we are. 1-1 one, one in this draft, and we're up a game. So, kind of yes. This guy doesn't have reach, right? It's like one of the few things he doesn't do. We always draft big dummies, Chris. That's the, that's my secret. I'm always drafting big dummies. Excuse me, the burps are real. All the dancers in your grand cafe. Every Michael B has every day. Sure. I'll give you a Duretti by itself. I'm gonna be dirty to buy you. Sure. And they kept Duretti and buy you. I think Duretti by itself might not be enough to take four cards. Okay, so now we know three of the four cards in your hand. You can play Duretti. You can easily loot those other things away. And then you loot them away. Wanna, wanna, wanna. Do, 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 do. 
They could also switch. Oh, you're just going to play this guy. Okay. I'm actually not going to beast within here. If we draw a land, uh, we can play Karn and exile this. If we don't draw land, then we can beast within this guy. Okay, Mill Spires is gone. I'm actually tempted to beast within this guy because like if we if we Karn this, we want to have a blocker for the 3-3. Three, three. This will be gone and block here. Karn still takes four. Because otherwise we Karn this and then Karn just dies to Vendillion click. It also dies to million Vendillion click the other way, but at least then we have a two blockers or no we have um we eat this guy it's actually tricky Hey Frank, this is John from the Mike B Factory. I understand your Michael is bugged and suddenly wants to go to sleep early. We have a replacement which will come in next week in a new garbage can. Thanks. Oh man, come with a new come with a new garbage can is really great. I'm just gonna pass here. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> oh Billy Biscuits. Where's the channel when you need it? Or the Eureka. Or the natural order, or any of the things in our deck that would be good. Oh boy. I'm just gonna get rid of this because they can't block this turn unless they just want to chump. That's fine. We'll just eat the beast. Yeah, Mike's training is on East Coast time. He's been having to get to work at like seven in the morning, so I definitely get it. Said to the man running the stand. Hey, do you have any grapes? No, I don't have any grapes. Do do. Oh, they interesting. Cyrus an artifact return an artifact. I, that's interesting that they exiled Course of Portal instead of like Ren and Six with their, because then they could have swapped out Moxery for Course of Portal, which seems really good. So now they still have Bayou in hand. <clears throat> Are they going to kill their own Devoted Druid so they have five to... I'm really confused as to what's happening right now. <laughs> they just killed my Lana Werewolf. They just blast on to kill Lana Werewolf. <laughs> now they're just going to play Euro again? Wild. Come on, channel Eureka one time. Thank you. Don't do me dirty. We can get rid of green, blue, black, red. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub, man. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. So much. So much. So now we have 13 mana to work with. So we can't even... Actually, no, we'd have all the mana... Let's get rid of this idiot. Attack your face. Now you're probably going to block, right? Still no block, huh? You're at six? Come on. 
Really? Let's see if they see it. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two. Yeah, this is exactly lethal. That's hilarious. Yep, that'll also do it. That's insane. Dude, we had so like we have Nat we have Eureka, Tooth and Nail. Tooth and Nail would have done it too. It puts Tooth and Nail, Eureka, Natural Order, or Channel. Like those are like three hundred cards that actually put us in a really good position. I don't think they have very many answers to Master of the Wild Hunt, actually. I don't think we can actually bring it in, though. Maybe it's better than Vraska. What did we see in game one that we cared about? Ramionap Excavator? I think Master is probably better. All right. I wish someone would blast zone me. What does that even mean? And the very next day, bop, 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 ba, da, da, da. I will play first. Yeah, turn two, turn two courser seems great here. Plus we have some other juicy boys in case we hit a Eureka. All right, I feel like this is our game to win, right? <sighs> All right, well, it's on the top. Ah, <sighs> it sucks because that's just our draw. So I kind of hope there's two in a row because it's just a free card. It's just better than, like, having a spell on top for now. Fucking goddammit. It's so infuriating. Well, I mean, if we hit another land, we can play Elder Gargaroth, but that was really frustrating. Like, they have two cards in their deck that deal with it. Flame Slash and, and Knight of the Reliquary. Meanwhile, like, hey, can I get, like natural order or, or channel those are two cards in our deck that we haven't drawn in two games mm, I don't think so yeah Eureka would be great too Eureka would be insane here like it's just Doretti here <sighs> this is ridiculous yep seems good Cool. <sighs> Eureka or Channel, one time. I guarantee you our Eureka is going to be better. You got it. Well. You got it. Eureka or channel, Eureka or channel, 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 Eureka or channel, Eureka or channel, Eureka or channel, channel, channel. Damn, you got it. Well, Gargaroth it is. Hope your Golos activation is not good. That's my hope. These are just terrible draws. <sighs> All fine. Don't care about any of those things. Yep. I have five mana, so you're probably just going to keep all these, which is exactly what I want because I got channel and Eureka in my deck. I mean, we have to have the same luck as the dude who had the 3.5% the, the chance of hitting through the breach. Wait, what? Oh, because they want to kill this? Yeah, I mean, getting rid of a Golos seems great here. 
I mean, that's totally fine. If you want to, if you want to lose a Johnny Angolos for this guy, sure. That's a fine trade for me. <laughs> and Eureka got better. So did Channel. Yeah. Seems fine. I just want to live the Eureka dream, that's all. There's no way they would have a... Like, this would kill so many other lands. One, two, three. Plus Ugin to kill this. Kozilek draws us four. And Woodfall kills another land, so... Yep, we can also Ugin for three and just wipe their whole board. Come on, give us the value. Give me, give me the, give me the, the memes. Give me Eureka for the memes here. Oh, God. Ugin negative three. I'll even take a channel at this point. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That card sucks ass. It's not very good at all right here. <sighs> We're just really in a position where we're just like, well, just got to kind of survive until we maybe hit something. <sighs> Wait, what? Why are they attacking with this guy? So they can get Euro out of the graveyard? I don't understand. There's still one land shy. Oh, they rent it? Oh. What? Okay. This is what? Fine. Oh, now they get Euro back? Sure. Yep. They also have five minutes on their clock to our 15. <laughs> like, it's like they've wasted 10 more minutes doing all this nonsense. <sighs> One time. Fucking Golgari Signet 6. 11. I mean, honestly, like... Ugin's not terrible, but like we still have to deal with like Euro on the board. What are you gonna do? Yep. Take 10. Yeah, Ugin wipes everything with negative three, which is what I'm trying to do, but. Like, I don't think we lose if we just hit Eureka. <laughs> We're, we're out of channel range, though, so that's a bummer. We're probably just going to top deck natural order here because that's my luck, so. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Oh, boy. 1-2 with this deck is fucking unbelievable, dude. Ugin definitely does it now. Oh, not by itself, no, because they have Neil Spires. Absolutely amazing. Yep. Would love to go see what I draw. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a... Um, I guess I can't go back to my game. That's... That's cool. <sighs> that was... That was a nice... That's a nice feature. Can you open the deck? Can I... Can I go back to the game? No? Okay. That's cool. Yeah.
Sundering Titan wouldn't have cost us another turn. No, well, they could just attack when the Evil Spark is in Euro. Then we have, then we die. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Maybe next time I can draw one of the four cards that actually put me in the game. Even Tooth and Nail would have did it because I had seven mana. So literally Tooth and Nail, Eureka, or uh, I guess not Channel at that point. Nonetheless, at any point in time, we had two outs at least. And uh, we couldn't hit them for five, six turns. So the Elspires wouldn't have been able to act. Oh, maybe if we killed enough lands for them not to activate it. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.